What is up you guys, it is Maddie here, and today I'm bringing you a Dishonored Stealth Tips and Tricks video. Uh, if this goes over well, I'll bring you guys a Violent Tips and Tricks video for those who are trying to run around and not be stealthy and just kill everyone. Um, the gameplay basically speaks for itself and teaches you anything I'm going to say here. But uh, I'm more so adding the commentary so that I could uh, teach the people who don't really learn through watching. They learn through voice and uh, explanation and whatnot. So right here I throw the, uh, the bottle that blows up. And uh, right here I, I blink over to this building just to make sure that I'm in a safe high up area. And I, I check to make sure that everyone's over there looking at the bottle. I threw it in the area where the sound radius could reach to everyone over where I am. And you kind of want to throw it in the group so that it distracts everyone when they turn their backs from you. I messed up a few times in this area so I, did a, I just uh, did a little cut here. And um, you'll see in this video or in this uh, clip right here more importantly is that uh, height is the best advantage you can have. Being level with your enemies is the worst thing you can have. Like right here, granted I'm going to be in the center of the room, but I have height and no one can see me up here. So I slowly crawl up here and whatnot. Um, a lot of things I'm going to be stating are total common sense for this game. Um, but you know, some people may be totally new to stealth games or whatnot, or just, you know, we're all new to Dishonored. Um, but you always have to remember your powers. You'll see a lot of usage of my powers and not only blink, you know. I, uh, I mean, I'll be using dark vision later on. Um, in the next clip, I have one other stealth tip to add, but um, yeah, I'll do it right now. Um, you'll see in the next room I go through that I go to kill a guy, and I uh, I drop down a staircase. You'll see it right in this room. Um, I'll, I'll check around this corner here, um, and he'll be coming towards me, and instead of just going around the back and shooting him with my crossbow, I make the dumb choice and uh, drop down and stab him. And, you know, my dark vision kind of helped me out here, though, because I knew that there weren't any other enemies that I could see. So I just went down here and killed him. But the smarter thing would have been to just shoot him in the head with my crossbow bolt and take his ass out right there. Um, this next is to show a combination of powers. And how well they can link together. No, I don't do it as smooth as they do in the trailers with like the creative kills and whatnot. Um, but right here, I use dark vision. All the three powers that you saw there: dark vision, blink, and possession. So right here, I'm using dark vision not to see where they are. I know those guys were there from the start of the level, but I want to see their vision cones. And I see that most of the time they are looking down, and that their vision cones can't really reach me if I kind of just crawl behind that uh, that little uh, paneling here. And now this guy's always facing towards the uh, the uh, guys throwing the bodies off the bridge. So I'm like, all right, this guy won't see me um, behind this this paneling here. And so I know there's a rat over there, and I don't want to get caught. And I'm trying to hit the rat here, but my possession isn't high enough, or the reach isn't that far. So I have to blink over to him quickly, switch over to my possession, and then uh, possess the rat right here. I get two bars full. Fortunately, he did not spot me. Um... But yeah, that that's right there uh, how you can combine power. So I hope you got hope I helped you guys out with the stealth tips and tricks. Um, if you guys want more dishonor videos, I will gladly bring them to you. But uh, other than that, you guys, I hope you enjoyed and stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.